FNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. March 1st, folks. You're going to love it. Let's make it a great month. Year of the Tiger. That's right. Oh, baby. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feeling of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. And that's, that's, a, that's a great card, man, but sometimes it's really hard not to take it personally. You know, uh, <laughs> what we all got to, well, what I definitely got to watch out for, man, you know, most of the time, like this, uh, when you get road rage, man, and, you know, sometimes, man, it just comes up out of nowhere. We all got to watch out for that, that's for sure. Cooking. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 493, NASDAQ off 131, SP's off 46, gold contract up $41, trading 819.42 an ounce. We got silver up a buck, $25.46 an ounce, late sweet crude up eight bucks. 103.81. Big numbers out here, folks. And I'll go through it with you. Oil's in an ABC structure up, I believe it's like 120 or something. You got. Uh, Copper up thir at 13 and a half pennies, 458. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up a full point, plus seven ticks trading out here at 128.21. The 30 year up a full two points, plus 11 ticks, getting out here at 159.01 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 659 ticks trading 97.364. Euro is 111. Yen is at 114.90 and the British pound is at 132 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have out here? Well, we take a look at this, baby. What you're going to see is your lower. You get light volume. You hit the highs of the low. So the highs of the last low here last week was 4 428.76. We hit 427.93, and you're going to have light of all. And the real kicker here, folks, is that where are we going to end today? That's where this is, uh, you know, basically sh shaken out. And if we end down at these lows, guess what? You're going to go after these lows tomorrow. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. What do you have? What do you have with the NDX 100? Bottom line, you're down 335. The high of the low there is uh, 341.04. You're at three, you hit 340.57. We're at 54 million shares. And that's only going to do about 64 million. So if this could reject the lower price, we might have a chance here to basically get a little bit higher. Right now, bottom line is that this is building cost. Well, it's building cost for lower price anyway. I mean, that's my take on it. But the real bottom line is that it's going to go after it right now. And uh, we'll see. Gold. Gold contract out here. We take a look at the gold contract. You're up 42 bucks right now in the gold contract. Um, this baby wants a higher price. You know, you get, you get the spike high out here. I suspect we'll get to that spike high. But if we do and we take the, this gold contract and we take a look at it, there's going to be choppiness out here. But the bottom line with gold right now, um, you can really see it in spades, too. Gold is real currency. You know, people have argued about that over the course of the years. Well, guess what? When 
you know, everything hits the fan. Bottom line, this is a currency. And it's a currency in spades. So you're, you're high from um, 2011, 1920. We blew that away. We're at 1943. Your last, your all-time high right now is 2063. Bottom line, I, I, that's where I expect we're going. That's nothing. That's only 80 bucks away, 120 bucks away. Um, and we very well may have an ABC structure on the way up. That, that's how this is uh, shaken out. We go take a look at notes and bonds. The note and bond market out here right now. You get the 10-year note doing 2.8 million contracts. So it's big contract volume. You, uh, yeah, it's definitely big contract volume. Look at this. I mean, you talk about a spike, right, on a 10-year. So let me do this, TY1. I'm going to put this on a generic one because I can get a better feeling for it if we put this on a weekly. Okay, so let me get this on a weekly. So we are at, okay, yeah, so this can go up to ice. So. We're at 128, 20, 130, 26 is game. And that would be all that actually is, folks, okay? That's just going back to ice where it broke down. That's normal. That's a, that's a normal, basically, counter trend bounce. We take a look at the uh, 30 year. That's the 10 year. We take a look at the 30 year out here. What are you going to have with the 30 year up a full two points and 10 ticks in the 30 year? I'm going to put this also on a generic. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I mean this thing can actually get to one sixty seven you're at one fifty, yeah, this can go to the top of the swing point, which is one sixty seven We take a look at the what the ten year is yielding right now, you're yielding out one point seven one, and we got to go over to the oil market when you see this man, this is something else, okay, so we take a look at the oil market, what you're going to see here. You're up with 653,000 contracts. The, the B point on this, however, this was already an ABC structure up. Here it is right here. It's taking this baby out. So yeah, I mean, when I lay this out, let me put it this way so you can kind of see it. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking, I'm taking an A point from uh, December 20th. The B point up there is uh, February 14th. So you got, let's call it 66 bucks. It's 65, 69, 66 bucks to 93. Yeah, so uh, we get 27 bucks. You got 87, 97, 107. That's 110. No. No, okay, hold on one second. 20, 87, that's 90, that's a buck 10, a buck 17. But it's a buck 17. And right now you hit a uh, dollar six. You know, so there's big numbers here. Uh, King dollar. Now, King dollar, as well as gold, King dollar wants higher price, too. You can see this kind of yesterday, man. Um, we'll see whether it can basically reach up. And, you know, this <laughs> this also, pull this back a little. This could really be a little rocket ship out there. Well, I mean, this can, this can run all the way up to the 103 again. Right now, you're at uh, 97.362. Our phone number is 877- Nine two seven six six four eight. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials down five twenty three. Nasdaq is off one fifty nine. S and P's off fifty three. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over thirty years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 581. We get the Nasdaq off uh, 183. S&Ps are off 61. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, great newsletter, the opening call. Uh, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content. You just hit that subscribe button. You get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months of $695, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. And you can get it for a full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593, or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So you can subscribe. It works for you for the month. Great. For some reason, it doesn't. You get your money back. Better than also what ends up happening. Basil has about 10 to 12 archives out there that you'll really understand how he looks at the market every day, how you ride that wave. You're going to love it. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing fine. I'm very concerned. You know, I had mentioned in my show that there's something out there that tells you a lot about Ukraine. They are the uh, second place in the world for barley production, third largest producer and fourth largest exporter of corn in the world, fourth largest producer of potatoes, fifth largest of rye, fifth place in the world in bee production, and then eighth place in wheat. Uh, I mean, we're talking about one of the reasons why I've been speaking to you for quite some time about the price of the uh, those soft commodities. I mean, we are still along in my for my subscribers, the uh, DBA, which is the uh, DB Agricultural Fund, and uh, that's got all those things. It's got the you know. So I, when you look at this, and you try to resolve it, and you're looking at crude. You were just talking about the price of you think that where crude oil is going. Um, what what we need to also put in perspective is that nothing. There's nothing that can happen in the next week or two that can just resolve this to the point where I'm not talking about the humanitarian side. I'm just talking about the commodity side where everything goes back to, to normal. You've lost 300,000 people or something like that that have left the country. So all that production is nothing. That's just one country. So I think we've got to take this very seriously in terms of uh, the upside potential in the overall market, but within that, there are some sectors that are actually working to a certain extent um, that I, I'm kind of intrigued with because the really beaten down NASDAQ stocks, there are some of those that have just taken, I mean, 30, 40, 50, 60% declines. 
So in that area, even today, you, you've got uh, the, the Qs and certainly the ETF that we have that has some of these uh, NASDAQ 100 type stocks holding pretty well. So it's, I think this is a period where if you're long anything, you have to be quite specific. You have to be sector related. Um, if you're already in the sectors that are working, that's a good sign. Then you have to just moderate, you know, use uh, stops or add to whenever you think you're getting a dip and you think that sector is going to continue. But most importantly, when I was looking, I spoke to you about the candles, this, this particular pattern that I call the Chapman Wave Roman candle. And it's been one of the one of the candles that we've seen in some of the major tops over the years. Back in 2007, the S&P had the same candle one one month after it made the top. So I spoke about this. I'm going to expand it so that you can see. And while I, I still feel that there's a really good chance that over a period of a couple of weeks, we'll start to form a base and have a really strong rally because the, the intensity of the selling is so so great and the uh, if you measured you know, the VIX or any sentiment indicator, some of these stocks are, you know, are really good companies. They've just been beaten, beaten down because of the market. But this particular candle where at highs, the price opens up and has a fraction of a little wick to the upside and then pulls back really sharply and then comes back and then closes a half to two thirds from the low it creates this power, I call it a Chapman Roman candle because, you know, a Roman candle, you light it and then poof, it takes, you know. Yes. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ugly looking candle in terms of uh, a, a chart in the um, stock market, but looking up in the sky is quite pretty. But in the stock market, what I say is if the wick gets taken out in a shorter time span, the long wick that was formed, you've got to be careful because then there could be a test of the low. And you got to be careful that it doesn't break. Well, we tested the low. And then what happened? That was in January. Now, February, we've closed the candle and we formed. It's not exactly the same thing because the wick is a little too high. But everything else about it is good. And I don't want to see a second a Roman candle. And so far, the pattern that we've got to look at is that if there is a weekly close in the S&P below 42.90, it says, got to be careful because you could retest the most recent low. That was the low of just the other day, and that was in the 4100 area. So it, I just it might be there by the time they finish talking. <laughs> I, 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 you and I certainly hope that doesn't happen. I mean, that's, that's ugly action. But you're right. I mean, this is the speed of these turnarounds intraday is, is really quite amazing. It is. So I just, I just wanted to put a perspective on what I'm looking at here. But that doesn't mean to say that there aren't certain sectors and certain areas that are working. And uh, within that context, I think you've got to be able to put together the panoply of all these different things. So uh, when I look at the over, when I look, say our portfolio, remember for, for weeks and weeks, I've been saying we're raising cash, we're raising cash, any positions we're putting on are really basically trading positions. And uh, quite a number, we have a gold stock, of course, that's, that's acting quite well. We have some of our core positions that we've held. You were speaking about the dollar. And in this particular case, we've been long since 90.07 back in 2018, Washington right all the way up to uh, the, uh, it was 102.99 early January 2020. Then it plummeted down back to 89.21. Fortunately, our stop held in the UUP and we're still long. And it's very interesting. And that's what I'm saying. This is a very complex market in many, many ways because I've been also speaking to you about the tradition that I have in the back of my mind is that when the vol stocks get volatile, meaning they're going down, that's a Wall Street terminology, yes. volatile, um, money tends to flow into bonds. And then what happens is the bonds rise. It's called the safety of bonds. Yields come down. We have only just seen that in the last week. So that's the first time that we've got that, which tells me that the uh, we cannot rule out that whatever the Fed is going to do, they're going to have no choice but to at least do some some uh, you know some upgrade of of the of bonds in terms of the yield, but at the same time, what I'm thinking is they're also going to look at the overall economic perspective. So they kind of caught between a, a rock and a hard place. So I think that the dollar. I've always considered the dollar to be just 
at the back of my mind, I treat it as an icon of the American economy. It's like Holly Davidson, let's just say. It's just an icon around the world. But it's also a go-to place because it's for forever it's been the safest place to be. So I think that's one of the reasons why the dollar is going up, yet gold is screaming higher. So I've always said there are times when you've got to separate the volatility index, the dollar, bonds, and um, in this particular case, it's going to be gold. So I think what we're looking at here is, is a very complex market. You just got to predict it. cash is a good position to be in. Uh, for safety, and at the same time, we're trying to get some stocks that have this counter trend rally, and that's what we're trying to trade. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's news out. Come over to our website at TFNN, right under featured content. You're going to see the opening call. You hit that button. Basil, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 659. You get the NASDAQ off 234. S&Ps are off 76. Let's just go look at this S&P for a second. So, uh, yes. Okay, so you're down 75 right now. Okay, so we're into the bar now. That's what's going on. You're into the uh, highs of the lows. The, the, the high of the low is 47, no, 40, 40, 42.90. Oh, we're right at it. We're at 42 right, 90 right now. I mean, we'll see where this baby shakes out. Well, you know, when Basil was just bringing up the Ukraine folks, okay, what's really intriguing to me is this, is that, you know, when I go back and we look at, you know, you had the Soviet Union. They were supposed to be the big rock and roll, the whole ball of wax. 
They went down about a heartbeat. When Putin is in here basically going after the Ukraines, my take is that he really, <laughs> he really didn't do his homework. And this is where I'm coming from on this deal. The Ukraines are holding up in a huge way. Now, I didn't grow up with Ukraines, okay, in South Boston, but I did grow up. Okay, so picture. Everyone thinks South Boston's Irish, folks, okay? This major- majority is Irish, but guess what? It's Irish, Italian, Lithuanian, and Polish, okay? And most of them came over approximately 1875 to 1887, 1890, okay? And I can tell you flat out, man, <laughs> okay, the Lithuanians and the Polish, right, if you want to fight with them, okay, picture, we were always fighting, okay? But bottom line, man, you'd never want to fight, okay? Because they could always fight. I mean, in a monster way. That's number one. Number two, in the context of who owned the houses, those folks always wanted to own the house, okay? So it's really intriguing when I think about it because, you know, people are wondering why that the Ukraines can hold up so well. It's in their DNA, man. I mean, they're going to hold that land as long as they can. Um, So it's going to get really intriguing here. Um, And it's sad. There's no doubt. But I'm telling you, man, they're a lot tougher than uh, Putin thinks they are. And, you know, we'll see how this baby shakes out. Uh, But, you know, you know, Lithuania, Poland, they're on those things. If they want to fight you, man, forget it, man. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to get out of that um, clean. That's 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 my take on this whole deal. And we'll see, you know, the oil went up today because the the, the squeeze will be okay. They squeeze the oil. And there's no doubt there's going to be unintended consequences all over the place. And we'll see, you know, bottom line, who is holding uh, either Russian debt or Russian equities. And uh, they're going to be in tough shape. That's that's the bottom line, because, um, you know, this thing's, yeah, (laughs) you know, they're, they're going to get squeezed beyond belief. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today. And this, in, so here, let me show you something, actually, actually. Yesterday, this was the clue. If you got my newsletter, you know that when you take a look at this, see this, this, this volume yesterday? The volume yesterday is $1.7 billion. They were selling stocks day and night. That's in the NYSE. And watch this one. This is in the NASDAQ Composite, $5.8 billion. So we had the expansion of volume in a monster way when you were going south. That, that's the bottom line. If we take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today, inside of the market, you have uh, Ford's off 83, Apple's down two bucks. You got uh, Bank of America off a buck 60, Occidental's up 334, Nvidia's down 10 bucks. You get uh, Facebook off seven bucks. Chevron is up five dollars. That's a big number. There's no doubt about that. We go take a look at the uh, inside of the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside of the Dow. Point-wise out here, what you have, uh, Chevron's putting 33 positive points, Home Depot 25, Walmart 5. Taken away from it. American Express, minus 105, Goldman 82, Boeing 68, Visa 50. If we go inside the uh, NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100, see what's moving that NDX around. What we have out here today, Biden is up 7.2%. The workday is up 4.4%. You got uh, Constellation. Uh, look at that. Is that Constellation Brands? Constellation Brands is up 4.5%. Taken away from it. Um, Lucid Group is down 14%. You got AMD off 75 Zoom's down 6 And you got ASML off 5 Let's go to Zoom. This was a $400 stock. So we take a look at Zoom. The low for the year is $114. The high is $440. That's within 12 months, man. This is like crazy. Okay, so let's see. Put this back. I see. Okay. Well, when it get when it gets this close to where 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 the it broke topside, you'll probably get the bottom of it. Yeah, I wouldn't be touching this thing just yet. And I mean, it looks to me like. You know, what we did is this. We hit 114, and 121 is the top of the level where we went topside. 77 is the bottom. Um, you know, oh, 588. Thanks, Tom. Oh, my God. Yeah, 588. 
That's intense. Well, this is saying that, listen, it can be back, go back down right against uh, where it took off from. That'd be $77, which would be pretty intense. There's no doubt about that. That's, that's, that's a big number. Let's go to the Amazon, take a look at some of these big dogs and see what they're doing. Look at this, holding tight, man. That's, that's impressive, man. Amazon down 55 bucks. Let's see what Google is. Yeah, same thing, down 20 bucks, but hanging tight in a big way. Uh, Facebook is getting destroyed, I believe. Yeah, it's going to go after it's going to go after its low. It's down seven and a half dollars. You take a look at uh, look at this thing. Yeah, see, this looks to me okay. So we're face Facebook hasn't tested its high volume low yet. This level where it's at though is that February? Was it 2018? 2020. Yes, yeah, 2018. Okay, so where Facebook is right now, that it looks to me like if we put the S and P up, this is where it looks to me like the, this thing is actually going to get down to. I'm going to pull this back a bit. Okay, so you're talking 33.93. Yeah, it's another thousand points down from where we are. That's where I'm thinking this thing wants to go. Let's go to uh, Rich in Oregon. Rich, what's going on? Hello? Hi, how are you? Good. That's a beautiful day. We, we, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Totally, totally. You must be enjoying this uh, art of time in the trade market. Yes, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> well, I know Heckelo has not been one of your favorites in the past, but it's taken a kind of a jump today. On volume, what do you think of Hecla? Let's take a look. So you get you get Hecla. A it's a silver stock. The lows four dollars and fifty cents. The highs nine forty two. Uh, it's trading at six fifty right now. And what you have here is that you they took an eight hundred and seven million last year. They look to take an eight hundred and twenty seven million this year. Now let me, I'm going to bring you over first to the silver contract because this is what happens with silver, folks. We are right at the spot where. Uh, not that one. S I J. Okay. Yeah, Richie, stay right there. We'll come right back. We'll talk about silver. We'll talk about uh, the metal itself as well as the equities. Dow Industrials right now down 606. Nasdaq's off 231. S and P's are off 69. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Bio 
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off uh, 586. The Nasdaq's off 223. S&P's are off 65. We're talking with Rich from Oregon, and we're talking about Heckler. So what I want to do first, Rich, I'm going to bring up this future chart, because what you have here is that Heckler, well, the metals themselves, okay, took off. And where silver is right now, and this is what you have happening here, folks, okay, which you're going to see these silver stocks really take off. So you can see... Silver's trading 25.51. Well, what happens is that, let me put this on a generic for a second. When you start getting to these numbers here, right, silver equities, folks, when they take ounces out of the ground, they're millions of ounces, not by the hundreds of thousands, by the millions. And when you get to this point in silver, meaning 25.45, there's almost not a silver stock that can't get silver out of the ground from 18 to $22. So every dollar that you see silver go up, you'll see these, you know, silver stocks explode in a monster way because, because of the amount of silver that they take out of the ground times a dollar. So if we take a look at Hecla, we, you know, this thing is, right now you, you get the juice behind it. Um, you know, the next, we're at 653, 740's game, and let me put this on a monthly... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's happening. Now. It's that, that, that nine, 940s game, actually, man. Just stay right where you are. You, you're okay. gonna, you'll get some flack at seven, seven bucks, around $7, but I suspect it will get up here. And then, you know, we'll see if this uh, baby keeps going. I mean, you, you got a shot at even 1135 you know. So. Wow. Well, it's a bumpy uh, stock to own. It's... The whole, well, you know that, Rich. The whole sector is a yeah. bumpy thing to own, man. <laughs> <laughs> what am I talking about? No, no, it's the truth, though. Listen, we know what it is, okay? Well, you know what you can, we, we all can see right now, though? This is a currency, man. There's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, it's a currency, so it's real. And, you know, people are using it, so. Well, Come. I appreciate it, Tom. Okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's go okay. to our man, Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on? Hey, how are you, Tom? I'm doing great. It's March. March 17th oh, is coming, thank Frank. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> the snow is still on the ground. and uh, I know. So you guys got some like snow, lion, man. But... You you know, one day it was 63, right? I was talking to my daughter, Caitlin, and she was 63. And then two days later, she sent me a picture of her driveway, and it's full of snow. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the way it is. Yeah. That's the way it is. It's, uh, but it's global warming for us. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, so, what an interesting market, man. Uh, I have a stock for you. I want you to take a look at S S S S four S is the okay. symbol, and it's a financial. And I'm thinking in this inflationary environment, maybe financials will fare a little bit better uh, as a as a group. What do you think? Yeah, let's take let's take a look. So, it's Cerro Capital. They take in 1.6 million. They they're gonna make. Yeah, this fourth quarter. They, they yeah, so they're accelerating. Okay, that yeah. They, so they're gonna yep. take in 535. 
thousand this quarter, but then they say they say they're going to come in with two dollars and twenty three cents. So that's quite a. They pay a ridiculous yield too. I was just going to say that's quite an acceleration on the way up. So whatever they have going, oh, something's got to be wrong with this, Frank. They can't pay a sixty nine percent yield. Well, I got fifty two. <laughs> <laughs> I I know I know they came through with seven or eight percent last year. Okay. So, but. I don't know. That's a little screwed up. That has me a little bit hesitant. But yeah. Boy, the chart look. The chart looks okay. Okay, so let's take a look. We'll bring this back. We get all these highs. Yeah, it does look okay, man. What's intriguing is even last week, there's not a lot of sellers when it even went down to ten fifty, man. Yeah, I know. When when you is look the, at the launch, when is the next dividend the due? Term, Do you know? It's been going up since. Yeah, since fall of 20, it's been on a straight line up. A lot of, you know, bouncing back and forth from 8.5 to 11, but kind of thing. Market you know, cap, 356 bucks. million. Yeah, I, I'd be careful there, Frank. I mean, you, you've been doing this long enough. You know that a 69% oh, yeah. dividend doesn't make any sense, man. Yeah, yeah I know. But that's so, the only thing that has holding me back. I mean, we're, we're talking about a stock that trades at eleven dollars and forty cents, and so basically, what they're, they're saying is that they're going to pay you a dividend of what uh, six ninety plus uh, sixty cents. So uh, seven, seven, they're going to pay you a dividend of seven dollars and sixty cents. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah. No, I'm, I know. I'm, it's a, like okay, <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> no, for sure, man. I, I the company for. Oh, I see. the company focused on late stage, institutionally backed private companies. Oh, let's do that. Oh, here, yeah, let's see. So let me put, let me see if there's, I can find out what's in it. Top two segment, New Jersey Division, Moss. Now let's hold this. Yeah, um, I, you know, the chart doesn't look bad. That that's that's the bottom line. Yeah. Um, yeah. you know. But we know that a sixty-nine percent dividend. I mean, I can't. I yeah, can't I know, see. That's crazy. I can't see that happening, right? I mean, all know. right. Let's keep an. Let's just keep an eye on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Yeah. All all right, right, look, hey, look, you, that, you know, you got a pretty good. You got a pretty good tan going there. It's listen. I I try to swim about five hundred meters every day. So, really? Wow. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. 500 meters. Yeah. Wow. That's a mile. Keeps me healthy. Yeah. I guess it does. That's yeah. your secret. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's fun down here. I was, I was, I just started up again. The only time I, I didn't do it for about four weeks because a little, but a little too cold. But it, the, the heat's here again, man. So it's a beautiful thing, yeah. man. Come down here and join us, Frank. You're going to like it. <laughs> yeah. Might be one of these days. Thanks, Tom. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's go take a look at Vista Gold, VGZ. And there's no doubt they, uh, they you know, I, they, the question is, is uh, anything wrong with it uh, in their earnings you see yesterday? Uh, no, there's nothing wrong with it. But you can see also that the bottom line is that it's not moving. And gold's at, a, you know, a huge price. So the way this does trade, folks, is that uh, bottom line, all of a sudden it just takes off. So we'll see how this shakes out. But this is not making too much sense to me either, uh, meaning in, in the context of uh, that you, the low for the S59 cents, the highs of buck 40. We've had Fred on, you know, he, he has the licenses. It's like you get a market cap out here of 98 million. And when you, when you read those, it's like, okay, man, we got a market cap of 98 million. That, that's not a hard thing to take out. So, you know, bottom line is that it is what it is and it hasn't moved yet. So... Uh, market wise out here, we're, we're going to be at these lows, man. This is, uh, this is going to be a little dangerous coming into, yeah, tomorrow's only Wednesday. That's not good. So let's, let's put this spy up here again. Yeah, it's going to, so you're going to be into the high 428 or 427. Just depends on how far, how far we're going to be into this high folks. Stay right there folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, XLF. Let's go take a look at the uh, XLF for a few of the Tigers out here. The low in the XLF uh, for the past, uh, bingo, there she is. Okay, come on, come on, let's go. Okay, so the low is uh, 32, the high is 41. You're trading 37. This is the financial sector, the large bank sector, actually. Yeah, I wouldn't be buying this. No, this is coming down. Yeah, no, this is ready to break. With it, this market's going south, man. This, this, no, the XLF, this is ready to break, man. This is building cause. And, yeah, this is going to be a bad market. Yeah, I wouldn't touch this thing. Because it could probably break tomorrow. This is what happens with the XLF, folks. When we get big downdrafts, right, the XLF is actually one of the last ones to break. But when it breaks, man, get out of the way. I mean, it's extraordinary. And it looks to me like this XLF is going to break and make its way down to somewhere about 31. And right now you're at 37. So, um, yeah, we're, we're getting into lower prices out here. And if we take a look at this again, let's just see where the volumes are going to lay out. You got, you, uh, you, okay, so now this is going to be cool. Right now you get 900 million in NYSE, which is light volume. But this was... Yesterday, someone dumped at the close, and we'll see whether they're going to dump out here again, because yesterday was $1.7 And then if we take a look at the 
NYS, I mean, the, the composite, the composite has volume, and you're already at 5.4. That's going to do 5.8. That's going to do 6 billion shares. So the bottom line is that you are accelerating on the way down, you have volume on the way down, and you have three days left in the week. That's a, that's a problem in itself, folks, okay? Um, that's a long time uh, before the weekend. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything you need, folks, is right inside you. You might as well enjoy it, man. It's part of your DNA. Have a good time with it. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Great show. Bam! Look at him, folks. Building